Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330-14iGM. The model name is an 81B0. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. I made a really short video how you can check your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in the video description. So if you wonder how much you can put in here, check that. Because the series Lenovo 330, they have come with a different type of processor. So each one of them, they take a limit of the RAM storage. So follow that link and then follow this video, how to remove it, how to replace it. We have upgraded this one up to 16 gig with no problem. Sometimes I get the question in the comments that my task manager says that there is a two RAM, one out of two, two out of two. RAM them in my laptop, but when I open it, I don't see it. I'll explain that in a second. So let's get into it. Let's get it started. All right. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Don't suspend or hibernate or anything like that. Power it off completely and then flip it upside down. Grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using on a fix it a screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get a pro set, they will give you many other tools and opening tools. If not, for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're gonna do the service. So on down here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in one pile, starting removing from one corner. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Remove the DVD drive, DVD cover in here. Just push it back. It's the empty cover. You want to grab the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick. You want to set it down, push it down, find a way to stick it right in between the plastic bottom cover and the palm rest. So you put it in there about two or three millimeters and then you just want to twist it. You want to hear those click sounds. You want to go all around on the front. Go to the left. You don't want to go towards the USB port. You want to go towards where the DVD drive was. You just want to twist it in there. Same thing. Go to the back corner in here. And that's now you're going to close the screen, put it down, grab from the corner, put your thumb on the uh, hinge right in here, and lift it up, wiggle it up and down, wiggle it around, and you can release the other side. And down here we can see the upgraded storage. There's no fan on this CPU. You might have a fan depending on your version. And on this side, we're going to see a metal cover in here. Under here, there's the RAM. To remove the RAM, you do not need to remove the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. So you don't need to disconnect the battery. All you want to do is to grab this cover here and bring it upward straight. Don't move it around, just bring it upward. There's a tiny one, two, three, four clips around that hooks to this side of the clip. So this one. So the bottom case cannot, it supports, touches the bottom case. So it's kind of support. All right. Down here we can see the 4 gig uh, DDR4. To remove the RAM, all you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of the triggers and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it in 45 degree angle and slide it backward, just like that. And we can see there's no onboard RAM DIMM installed. There's only one RAM DIMM and one RAM available. So all you need to do, if the task manager says 2 out of 2, 2 out of 1, that's misleading, but there's only one RAM. All right, get a new RAM, 8 gig or 16 gig, depending on your max capacity. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not simply go through. The RAM chip orientation doesn't make any difference as long as the notch matches. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector, and then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear these triggers open and close and make a soft click. That means the RAM is in place. Grab the bottom and the protecting power, align the hooks, 
on this side and on long side and just push it down and it should hook in place. Once we have the RAM upgraded, simply you want to grab the bottom cover, put it right on top. What you want to do, you want to push the corners down. You want to hit those clicks down the side on the DVD drive. You want to hit those hooks clicking in and grab the caddy for the DVD drive here and push it in there. And to finish it off, it's just to slam the screws on the bottom cover. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your Lenovo IdeaPad 330-14 IGM model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.